Welcome to Ancestral Wisdom, where the wisdom of the past guides our future. Today I'm going to teach you how to make excellent labels for your homemade beers, wines, meads, or even preserves or jams, whatever you need a label for. This is a really quick, easy way to make a beautiful label to suit your needs. So, how do we get started? First, find an image that you like on Google Images. <clears throat> Um, for example, I was making, um, I made wine and I just bottled my wine and I'd like to make a label for it. So I started thinking about what type of wine it was and what label would best suit it. Now it was a white wine, but I used a specific kind of flower to color and flavor it. On my property, we have a lot of trees that are called Rose of Sharon trees and they create a flower very similar to a hibiscus. Um, and it's a rosy, uh, it looks, it looks kind of like a cross between a rose and a hibiscus flower. And so I use that flower to color and to flavor the wine. And so it's actually a, a pinkish, uh, very flavorful, little tart wine. Now, usually you'll, uh, see a wine called a rose wine, just if it has a pink color, but this wine has a pink color and it was actually flavored with something called a Rose of Sharon. So it's even more so a rose wine. So I went on Google Images and I found this nice uh, mythic image that has a, a wreath of roses around it. So here we are. I inserted a text box and dragging it down onto the image. I made it as wide as the image and now I'm going to write in it, rose wine. You could get fancier than that, of course. Um, oftentimes when I create labels, I'll put the brand name for uh, the brand name that I use for my beers, wines, and meads. Um, I'll also put the alcohol percentage and a few other important pieces of information. But let's keep it simple for this demonstration. Rosemont. There you go. Easy enough. Um, just to give credit where credit is due, when I did find this image, uh, it does have a watermark, dhgate.com, wallpaper01. Um, since we're only going to be using this for our own personal use, I'm going to cut that off, and you'll see how. But uh, but just for to give credit where credit is due, um, that, that is where this image is probably finds its copyright. All right, what next? I'm gonna hit print screen on my keyboard, go over to paint, control V to paste it. Then I'm going to select this, cutting off the watermark, and cut, file new just to have a nice clean slate. And here we go. Perfect. And so now you print that out and you have a beautiful set of labels for your wine or whatever it is that you need. Now how to get the labels on the bottle. Let's talk about that. First, you're going to need some post-it glue. Any sort of glue will do really. Uh, any sort of glue, any sort of glue stick would be fine. I use what they call post-it glue. You can also call it restickable glue. And I use that because it doesn't leave that much of a residue on the bottle when you are when it comes time to peel the label off. 
and as easy as it could possibly be. Just like using a regular glue stick, you get the glue on the back of the label. You grab your bottle. You press it up against it. And here you have a beautifully labeled bottle of rose wine. These labels actually came out a bit small. Next time I'm probably going to uh, make them a little bit bigger. But that's fine. I like the way it came out.